Hi my amazing planner friends, it's Jess from Your Magical Planner and today I have my Coco Daisy subscription. This is a planner sticker subscription kit and I do get three different ones and here I get two that are designed for like a Hobonichi Weeks and one for a Hobonichi Cousin and I use all three in my Hobonichi Cousin. So let's see what this month's kit looks like. I haven't looked, she does a preview, but I, I just haven't looked at it. So, oh, very bright this month. All right. That's everything from the envelope. And so you always get one of these cute little cards. This one says, let's go. It's got a postcard. I guess it's all about kind of, it makes me think fifties travel like vacations. So that's kind of cute for June. And then we have this uh, vinyl sticker that says Coco Daisy, the best place in town. And it has, I'm not sure, but I, it could be a bagel, but I think it's a donut with a little cup of coffee. Established 2010. I wonder if that is when her company was established, but I'm not sure. So these are the three kids definitely very bright this month. So I'm going to start with the, this is called the week's calendar kit and it's meant for a Hobonichi week's size planner. It is only a two page kit, which is fine. So you get these two pages. They are on a premium matte paper. Sorry, I was trying to figure out the direction there. So it is for June. I do like this strip a lot. I think that's really cute with the road trip kind of on it. Very nice. And here you have a this month as well as good vibes only. <laughs> we do have a square sticker down here that says Father's Day and the 16th. So you could put that on Father's Day and then you get a couple of other boxes. Um, first day of summer on the 20th is noted here. And we have food trip and just some normal boxes. Then you have these really small boxes, which are really nice. They, I find them very useful, especially on the um, month page in my Hobonichi Cousin. Then on this page, you do get your days of the week here at the top. They are in two strips that would be the size that you need them for like a week's kit. However, you can cut them down and make them work in any planner. Below that we do have a little uh, line here and then of course I'll like a washi type sticker there and then you have your numbers. I don't use the numbers currently. I am kind of brainstorming to figure out how I want to use those because <laughs> I want to be able to use everything in the kit. And then we have a couple more really thin like washi strips in here. We have a larger Let's Go sticker here and Adventure and Wait sticker. Then we have some really nice sized icons. I love this sizing. I kind of wish all of her kits had this sizing, but I get it. Then we have um, Don't Forget Appointment, Important and Reminder, some arrows. You do get a tab in case you're tabbing your planner as you go. So you can always do that. Or if you have a special day or something in June, you want a tab, you know, you can always do that. So um, along with that, you do get a couple of heart stickers this month, it looks like, and a couple of slightly bigger boxes over here. So that's everything in the calendar kit. I want to say this is like $7. Then we have the Daisy Week sticker kit here, which is meant for the size of like a Hobonichi cousin. It is called Daisy Weeks because she does create her own planner. Um, they have a bunch of like monthly planner things that they do uh, in different sizes. And so it's, I think, named after that. And in here we have your Monday through Sundays and you get like a whole month's worth of them. I tend to not really use the days of the week, but I will cut them off and use the checkbox portion and find that very useful. I'm sure I could use the other portion um, for like menu planning in my back or something along those lines. And then you get all of these icons through here. 
on the next page we get some headers um, to that say June 2024 that you can use and then we have a some slightly bigger boxes that have things like hello June stop worrying about all the potholes in the road <laughs> that's cute um, I really like this one in a sunshine state of mind that's really cute and I like the design a lot um, it's not about the destination really cute and then on the coordinating page we have some instead of the headers you get um, how it trackers here and they're roughly the same size and then you have the bigger boxes on the bottom so you get another high June and some more quotes and stuff to add in there then on this page you get some square boxes which are really nice these I use on the um, monthly layout quite a bit and I really like them there um, you get some slightly bigger boxes this one would be great for marking like a vacation or something I think with the map in the background there um, this one's cute with the ice cream and then we have just some solid boxes here and a couple more of those slightly bigger boxes our next page has all of our deco here really cute I <laughs> kind of like the thumbs up yes that's cute um, I like the car with the let's go the camera's really nice um, ice cream always a good thing bowling so maybe it's like a bucket list <laughs> Then we have a big arrow this month. These are also habit trackers through here. So if you don't want to use the bigger ones, you can use these and these work great in a Hobonichi Cousin. Then we have a menu plan and groceries for your weekly planning out of that portion. And we have this week's and next week's, which are really nice. And then our last page, no, that was all on a nice matte paper. This is on a transparent matte or a vellum paper. So it's a, a little bit thinner and see-through. So we have kind of some deco type stickers up here. These are all square cut. So it makes them really easy for lining them up in the boxes on like a Hobonichi Weeks. Then you get all of the date stickers down here, which this month is kind of a teal color. And you get a little ice cream cone there at the back, or at the last square, which is really cute. And then you get a couple of washi strips down here at the bottom, which are really nice. These are great if you have like just a couple of days that say you've got a conference or something that you wanna mark, they work really well for that. So that is everything that is in the week's kit. I, I can't remember the exact price on this one off the top of my head. So I will insert it. So I will insert it here for you guys. Um, I want to say it's in the $18 range, but I can't remember. And then our last kit is the classic cousin sticker kit, obviously made for Hobonichi cousin. Again, this is a kit that has some pages that are on the mat and some on the transparent mat. Although I think both cases only have one that's transparent. So in this one, you get some bigger boxes. These are bigger than like a seven by nine box. Um, sorry, let me pull out a few things to show you what I mean okay I have two different like one page of two different kits here this is for a seven by nine and this is for a Hobonichi cousin um, obviously different companies and all that but if you look here for the full boxes on these kits it's it's only like maybe it's half so maybe if you cut them in half that would be about the same size and then even for your seven by nines, these are longer. So they're more like the sizing you would get on like a happy planner sticker, I think. So there is that just to be aware of. Um, it's good some days, bad some days. I, I struggle a little bit with the sizing. You can sometimes cut them down to make the sizing better or overlap um, either alpha stickers or other boxes on top to mark things so but you do get 
six on this page and five on this page. So you, you definitely have enough for more than one week if you want it to there. And then at the bottom of this one, you get a couple of special boxes. Um, they usually change what's in the wording in these each month. So this is note to self, sunshine ahead, and it has two little checks there. And at the moment, and then you have, you know, kind of half boxes. And then these ones are meant for like the one hour slot on the Obanichi Cousin. I really wish we had more of these, but we get about six here. And then you get some flags, which I also really like. Then on the other page with your big um, boxes, you get these square boxes. Now these squares are the same size as the squares on your monthly spread. So you can, I think the intent is that you can use this anywhere you want in your Hobonichi Cousin. But that's the sizing of that. And those stickers are probably closer, I would say, to the size of the full box stickers in this kit. So, and then you have some little like half boxes down here. Our next page has some deco on it. Oh, I love the postcard. That is really cool. I, I really enjoy that. Then we have a sign that says June showing now. That'd be great if you are going to the movies or something. Um, ice cream today, um, notes, let's go. Uh, the limited edition, that's cute. Vintage cafe. We have a license plate over here. So just lots of things that make me think like Route 66. Um, then we have some little like quote boxes and I really enjoy these as well. Um, our road trip, our journey, the open road, summer vibes, adventure time, nostalgia, try new things, like all kinds of really nice little quotes that you can overlay on things. Um, you could also use them as journaling prompts, I think. Then on this page, we have our habit trackers. You do get eight. So obviously, um, most people don't use eight in a week, so you can kind of spread them out. <laughs> then we get two five um, heart checklists on these little clipboards, which I think are really cute. And then these have seven, which I really enjoy having the slightly longer list as well. Then we have a Monday through Sunday here. And then on the side here, we have scripts with little icons attached, which are really cute. They work really well on in your weekly stuff, or if you want to put them like the paydays on the monthly spread, things like that. But you have things like doctor's appointment, nail appointment, um, do a wash, which is the only wording <laughs> that every time I see it, I'm like, that just doesn't, yeah. There's something about it. <laughs> Buy food, um, happy mail, movie night. It has a lot of really nice little tidbits there. Then on our next page, we have days of the week here. So you get a couple of different designs to choose from. And she does tend to kind of switch these up a little bit each month. So we have Monday through Sundays on these little set. On these little flags here, we have some cursive different colored ones here. These make me think of like, was it the old time movies or something? <laughs> or maybe it's old signs. Those are really cute. And then we have little swatches with Monday through Sunday there. Then we have menu plans this week and next week. Now these are, I believe they're a little bit, <laughs> just a little bit bigger. So kind of to give you an idea, the menu plan and this is maybe a little bit closer. Um, I do like the sizing a little bit better, but they both work. And then you have icons here and the icons I believe are the same size from the weeks to um, the cousin kit here. So really nice functional page. Then we always get a page with an alphabet here and this month is kind of this red stripe, which is interesting. I think one of the previous months was a black one. You know, you get different colors. And as much as I thought I would not use this, I tend to use it more than some of the other things in the kit, <laughs> which just amuses me. 
And then we have a couple pieces of washi here as well as the date dots. Now the date dots I don't particularly like on the weekly spread because fitting it in along with the days of the week in that space doesn't always work for me. But these do work really well on the monthly spread. I did that this month and I can link that above for you guys so you can see what that looks like. Um, so just food for thought there. And then our final page has a couple more washi strips here at the bottom as well as some deco up here. This is the transparent mat sheet. So um, you do have some swatches and unlike the other transparent mat sheet, these are cut around whatever shape they are. So they're not square or anything. They're just whatever shape they are. So I love having the swatches. Um, then we have a couple of quotes, um, travel, travel log. <laughs> I think that's what it's supposed to say there. Um, that's kind of interesting. You could easily put this in the back of your cousin and have a travel log for the summer. Um, throwback, um, focus on the road ahead, summer bucket list, current playlist, summer memories, um, go to the snacks, ice cream, fave, that kind of thing. So very nice. And that's everything that is in the cousin kit. Now this one, I want to say is around $20. Let me go ahead and insert that here though for you because I don't want to misstate the price for you. And that is everything I get from Coco, De Coco Daisy each month. If you guys have any questions about the Coco Daisy kits, feel free to put them down in the comments there and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. And I hope you guys are having a fabulous day. So until next time, I'll see you real soon.